So uh, you've seen a lot more production, obviously, this weekend than this team's used to. What are kind of the keys for that, or what's kind of flipped the switch for you guys? Sure. I, I think the big piece for us is just uh, understanding the importance of playing fundamental baseball, how to have an at-bat, um, not trying to do too much. I think we have a lot of guys that uh, you know, working through some things, You know, guys that with some injuries, you have some different guys in there, and them understanding how to play uh, fundamental baseball, how to how to have an at bat, how to advance runners and score runners, and, and oftentimes our, our initial reaction is to is to try to do more. I need to swing harder. I need to try to uh, hit a home run. I need to hit a double here. And in actuality, it's when I need to do less. I need to have a better approach. I need to have better pitch selection. I need to get out of the way and allow a pitcher to give me an at bat or to put us in a good situation to have success. And then when that happens, I need to just be able to uh, stay behind the ball and hit the ball back to the big part of the field. And, all things that we've worked on and all things that we've done. I, I told the guys yesterday after the game, I felt like I felt like we were back playing fall ball where we could just go and have at bats and relax a little bit. And, and a, lot, a lot of it too is just allowing guys to, to get enough of bats under their belt. And so when you do that and you get some guys to get out there and play a bunch and they get better and they improve and they're able to go out and relax and just be more productive. You talked about injuries. Is there anything in specific about or like guys that we're used to seeing, like Sommer isn't slated for this weekend. Is there anything yeah. with him? Yeah, he'll be out for a few more weeks, and uh, Khalith will be out probably for a little bit more, and Dunham's obviously been out for a while. He, he's hopefully coming back here soon. So those guys will be out a little bit longer and, and hopefully get back in, in, in Big Ten play at some point. Is there anything in specific that you could like with their injuries that you could? It, they're, they're not. They're not. Uh, Tommy's not a stolen arm, and um, uh, I can't go into specifics just because of the, the, the rules of it. But yeah, I understand. Yeah. Uh, Tanner Gordon had a great outing today. Yeah. What, what kind of what adjustments did he make? What yeah. Was he able to do out there to give him that edge? They've been working a lot with his with his hips, just his mobility and his ability to stay over top of his body longer. He, he drifts on the mound and and we'll, arm slot will kind of get pushy and. The stuff isn't as sharp, not freed up out in front of his body. And so they've been working a lot. They introduced a little bit different, some different mobility work this week. They threw an elongated bullpen, really working it. And, and again, so much of it, especially with the new staff and new guys, is you don't know everybody's intricacies. And so you're, you're okay, let's work these drills. Let's work these drills. Okay, those ones aren't, aren't, aren't they're, they're the right drill, but they're not relating to you as well. So let's do this. Okay, let's explain it this way. It's, this, it's, the, same, it's the same drill set. It's the same, not the same drill set, the same idea different drills okay it clicks for you and then it clicks for you and so this week was a really good week for Tanner uh, I felt like the ball really freed up got in front of his body the stuff deviated later breaking ball was tighter held the view a little longer I, I thought it was a really good start but it just all goes back to the work and uh, I, you know coming from coming from a, a, a mid-major level of baseball I'm, I'm very used to it where you play a really tough early schedule you go out there um, you 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 test yourself against the best in the country, and then the, you're, you hang your hat on the work that you put in each week. So if you watch us from the beginning of the year, to each week we get better. Each week we get better and better and better. And so it's not like there's a magic switch. It's just like the three or four days we have, we're able to be more exact in our work, go put really precise work in with each guy, watch a bunch of video, be honest in our assessment, and then improve in that area. And then you go back and you do it again each week and week. So, uh, you know, I look to this team to continue to improve incrementally throughout the course of the year. This is right up my alley. These are things I've done for my entire life, watching these teams grow throughout the course of the year. So I'm, I'm happy with where we're at and excited where we're going. One of the problems kind of coming so far in the season has been infield errors in specific. Sure. What, what are you doing to address that or what are you planning on going forward? Doing the same thing. We have an incredible infield coach, and we we do a lot, and we have we have done a lot. We just have to uh, we have to communicate better. We have to trust ourselves better. Uh, we have to just be able to go out and make plays. There's there's only so many different ways to hit a fungo and to work a ground ball and to work mechanics and to take machines and to pump guys up and to smack them on the butt and and to do all the different. You just have to go and do it. And we're at the point now where we've done everything and uh, we've, we've educated them, we've prepared them, and, and we have to just believe and have confidence to go out and, and, and perform. We have to take personal responsibility and go out and, and get it done, which we will. You've seen the freshmen like uh, Van Pelt, Richardson, uh, Scrine, you've been using them a lot more, trusting them a lot more. How much do you plan on using them going forward? I will always, always play the guy that I think is the toughest, who's gonna help, us, uh, help to give us a chance to win. So if he's a senior or he's a freshman, it's, it's really irrelevant to me. Uh, with, with true freshmen, you do want to be cautious and make sure you don't, you don't rush them. 
Uh, you know, with Grant, he's extremely talented, as everyone has now seen. But you want to make sure you, you pick your spots a little bit. Make sure that they're they're physically prepared. He had he had a pulled quad earlier in the in the winter, so he missed a little bit of time coming into the season. I just didn't feel like it was the right time to to to, to get him in there. And so you want to make sure he's ready, that the, the situation is right, and then now they can go out and be calm, cool, collected, prepared, and let their abilities shine. So those guys are tough, and they work really hard. And so it doesn't matter to me if you're a freshman. It doesn't matter what scholarship you're on. I just want guys that are, that are competitive, that are prepared, that know how to win, and they're more interested in helping the team win than they are about uh, getting what they want out of the situation. And, and it just so happens that when we collectively all get what we want, we individually also get what we want. And, and so it always goes hand in hand. And, and, and you can see less and less of, of the outlier situation. We're less and less of the swing that doesn't make sense and less and less of the play that this is kind of out of place and more and more of, of streamlined process where you see, you know, now we understand the, the importance of having a two-strike approach. Well, it's not something we didn't talk about, not something we didn't work on. You go out and, uh, like I, my dad always say, a hard head makes for a soft butt, right? Well, which was followed by an available mind to learn. And so we go out, you, you, we, we struggle with that. We have to get better at that. And you watch these guys. Matt Lloyd has four two-strike hits today. You watch all these guys over and over get better at that. Okay, you, you live and you learn. And so those, those young guys have been tough and they're prepared and they've gone out and they've helped us win. You look at, you look at how our production has, has increased as you've, as you've uh, inserted Richardson and Van Pelt. And are, are, they, uh, are they four for four every game? Are they hitting three-run home runs? No. They're productive. They take hit by pitches. They both had two today. They take a walk. They move runners. They drive runs in. Uh, every now and then, they'll run into a ball. But it's just production and moving the offense along. And whoever can do it, that's all that matters to me. All right. Last question for you, Coach. Uh, we saw you come out and coach third base. Is that any insight or any reason for the change? Uh, just Coach Held's out in California recruiting this week. So um, when we were in Seattle. He went ahead and made a West Coast trip down the coast, and he's been in uh, L.A. and San Diego area and over into uh, um, uh, Arizona coming his, uh, his way through there. So he'll be back for he'll be back this weekend. Um, but, yeah, he's just been out there coaching. But, hey, I cut my teeth coaching third base. I coached a lot of third base in my career, and, and uh, it is fun to coach third base because you're part of the game again, and you're a lot warmer because you get to, like, run back and forth and wheel and deal, and it's exciting. So I always enjoy coaching third base. and. After some of these runs we score, I may, I may have to stay out there. But it is tougher to manage the game because you're like yelling at guys like, hey, get loose, and I want to, you want to do all these things. And I like talking to Coach Parker about decisions that we want to make. And there have been some times I'd like to have somebody to bounce an idea off of, and you don't have it at third base. And um, I, I'm an idea guy. I, I have no ego. So I like talking to the coaches and making sure we're on the same page with the decisions that we make. So um, when Coach Hud gets back, he'll be back out there. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, Coach. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.